Hey everybody, welcome back. I was today years old when I learned these things on TikTok. When you buy every single ticket on the plane so you don't have to deal with people. Wait. Oh, this is next level. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it already. Thank you for informing me that you can actually do this. I won't, but it's nice to see people living my dream. Okay, okay. Oh wow, I'm empty plane. The only person on the plane and they have an entire flight crew. They do not want to do this flight. <laughs> and loaded all the bags on the plane. How many how many bags do you have to load today, bro? Passenger <laughs> They pulled them from the hotel to come do this flight for just one person. Small personal devices like tablets, cell phones, and smartwatches. Only place in the airplane mode at this time, sir. Oh, he seems so chill. I love that. Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> Wait, how do I take my seatbelt off? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Safety. Safety first, babe. <laughs> This is the level of done with people I aspire to be. <laughs> Imagine you're the only one and they still lost your luggage. Oh, oh, why did you even say that? Why did you say that? Oh, they did, he did lose it. Oh, oh, they did lose his bags. How do you lose the bags? There's only one person. It is four o'clock in the morning. I'm in the Charlotte airport, but I cannot get home because I don't have a bag. My bag is nowhere to be found. There was only one bag on the whole flight. Stop! Okay, so who was who was who's responsible? Who's responsible? Oh, we know who's responsible. This guy. That guy. The terms with the fact that I no longer want to surround myself with women that don't know their worth. Being boy crazy is not cute at any age, but it's especially alarming when you're in your mid to late twenties, thirties, and even 40s and I used to be friends with someone like that and I'm not anymore. When someone revolves their worth around how other people perceive them, in this case the opposite sex is creator explain like I'm just trying to have a nice time, you're out here crying, you're always blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my, about my experience and this is very deep rooted. You are not a friend to them. You're an audience or you're a sounding board or you're a support system. They actually don't really care about you. But here's the thing. I also believe a lot of these people are not to be trusted because on one occasion I was out with this, but I'm only for a really long time, like my entire adult life, okay? And they were texting their guy friend they knew for many years. I said, what's he doing at like this time of night? Isn't he like spending time with his fiance, whatever? And she went this whole thing, how he always had a crush on her. She never wanted him, but now she's single. And his fiance is eight months pregnant and he was sending her flirty, sexy texts. Stop. So I said, how would you feel Period. if that was your man? And her man, oh. mind you, cheated on her. She has kids. I said, how would you feel if that was so-and-so that did it to you? And you know what she said? But I knew him first. And that's when I realized that was my cue to just get as far away from you as possible because you are like a decade older than me and you've learned nothing about morality or the world. Okay, I feel like attacked, but you're right. Honestly, I've always felt this way, but like never really had someone summarize it so clearly for me. It is true. People that are boy crazy. If you're boy crazy, I love you, but you're exhausting. Literally exhausting. Word of advice for people who are boy crazy and thirsty for male attention. Getting male attention is not hard. I think it goes without saying that most men don't really have too high of standards. Okay, let me rephrase, let me rephrase. Many men don't have standards. Many men are also only looking to get laid. It is not a compliment when a boy wants to beg you, okay? It's not that he wants to marry you, he just wants to put you in his bed. That's all it is. That's not something to be proud of. And it's certainly not something to be proud of when you put boys before your own friends. What the heck? That's a strong onion. We smash? Oh. Oh. When in doubt, put your whole body weight on it. Just sit on it, babe. Thank you for the demo. What's up, blood? Oh, hey, what's what are you doing? How are you doing? I don't know this. Oh, the gang gang. I know. I know, you gotta throw Wait, do you guys know each other? Are you part of the same gang? The most protected granny on the block. Oh, okay. Okay, but you're protected until you run into a rival gang. So I'm not sure that this is a good idea. 
I was shopping and now I'm in the bloods. Okay, okay, let's not draw attention. <laughs> I will never get tired of seeing this dolphin get shook by Mariah Carey's whistle notes. That dolphin was shook, shooketh. He's like, we can speak the same language. Look, he's so cute, he's so excited. That dolphin is like, did you get the picture? Did you? <laughs> we love a bilingual queen. <laughs> I didn't know Mariah Carey could speak dolphin. This is the Carolina Reaper chili. Is the Carolina Reaper chili. It's the world's hottest chili. And I'm wearing gloves right now because all of that heat, well, it comes from these seeds right here. Now, I just came back from Beast where they held Melbourne's annual chili eating competition and competitors had to compete eating these, uh, eating these, uh, chip. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. We don't wipe the eyes when we're touching the chili. This is the hottest chili. It comes from these seeds. Put seeds down, wipes on eyes. <laughs> Doing this downtown Brooklyn right now. You want me to spin around real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for the camera, yo. Summer. Whoa. Hey, bro. This, come on, yo. Whoa. Yo, only in New York, man. No, stop playing. Yo, bro. Stop you it, stop it, stop it. Stop now. it. You, you serious? Oh yo, you serious, bro? Yo, bro. I think he's serious, guys. Yo, a 45 inch teeth. Hang on. Hey, yo, bro. African, you heard? There you go. Wakanda, baby. <laughs> Wakanda. Yeah. Do you have like a dent in your head? Is that attached to like a headband or something? Or are you really just that talented and from Wakanda? Wakanda is not a real place, Charlotte. God, do your research. I was being sarcastic, but thank you for the info. I really appreciate the criticism. I'm gonna take that, pop it in my pocket. And I'm gonna take you and put you in the drawer. Thinking about how my employers told me a year into my job that before my interview, they stalked me on social media and this is what they found. Wait, 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 what? Ah! <laughs> the caption says better out than it, I always say. Okay, okay, but like this would make me hire you though. You look like a lot of fun. I would hope that you would come dressed like that to the company party. I love that you still got the job though. Like that is not embarrassing. Careful what you post on social media, guys. Or maybe don't be careful. Our camera caught this at work. Hang on. She was so shook. She was like, God, did no one see that? Did no one see what just happened? Am I better than everyone? <laughs> you are, babe. You gotta check if you're Spider-Man after something like that. Honestly, like just like. When you thought you found your dream man, so you follow him on Instagram and he follows you back, then follows your gay best friend and slides into his DMs instead of yours, wait. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, oh, stop it. Photo. Yeah. It's my <laughs> man. Not anymore. <laughs> that ain't your man, babe. That's not your man. How did he think that your gay best friend would not find out? Sometimes it's like, do they like know that we talk to each other? Cause like pretty much every time you do something. Here, let me, let me give you like a little clue, all right? You were today years old when you found out that anytime you do anything, we tell the group chat. <laughs> hey, did you know if you make a mistake, you can shake and undo it? <laughs> what are you doing? It's not working. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nope, nope, didn't work. Didn't work, still here. I am just one big mistake that makes mistakes on a daily basis. Don't even think about it. 
Oh, oh, okay, bestie, yes. Ooh, oh yeah, that would make him slow down a bit, eh? God, why do they always go through the puddles and ruin your outfits on a day where you need to look good, you know? It can never be a day where you want to look like garbage or just go into like the grocery store. It's always a day where you're like going to an interview or like, you know, you see your ex. This is the most ghetto and creative mess I've ever done seen. I like it. Come on, see that. Don't kill the bird. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh my god. That bird probably dizzy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do the bird. Don't do the bird. Oh god. Oh god. Fried pigeon. That bird probably dizzy as hell. Okay, yes, uh, uh, now what? Now what? Eat your words, okay? Birthday gone wrong. Yeah. Happy birthday! <laughs> okay, Granny, next time we do not take a one big bite out of the cake, we take a fork and eat it like a normal human being. Otherwise, we might lose our teeth. I was today years old when I learned. I don't even know how to end this. Subscribe! And let's just sit here and see if I can think of an ending. Can I think of an ending? Can Charlotte think of an ending? She can't. Goodbye.